Uh, welcome to the first episode of Edelbrock Live. I'm Eric, this is Eddie, and today we're going to talk about our newest fuel injection system, which is ProFlow 4. And kind of give you guys a little fun tidbit that a lot of people don't know, is actually we've been in the ProFlow, actually take that back, we've been in the EFI industry, EFI, yeah. EFI for quite a while. Um, Edelbrock first debuted EFI in 1979. It was a sequential system. Take a look at the screen back here. This is what it looked like, uh, pretty rudimentary. Um, at that time, really, EFI was only being used by some of the high-end um, automotive OEM manufacturers. So it was not something you really saw in the aftermarket. So when the Yellow Rock team came to market with this, it was kind of, it was, it was out People weren't ready for it, I <laughs> No, think, they yeah. weren't. It was only in the catalog till uh, 1980, and then it came off the books and just nobody was ready. Well, yeah. you know what, back in 1992, Edelbrock came out with their first edition of ProFlow the actual Pro Flow it was the it was original the one, Pro yeah. Flow. We're on four now, but it was the original Pro Flow, um, and that man, that's been in the Edelbrock catalog ever since in different iterations. And today we're here with Pro Flow Four, and Eddie's going to kind of get you guys up to speed on some of the new stuff that's that, that makes Pro Flow Four different from three. Yep. Well, you know, uh, from working shows and getting uh, feedback from different people at the show, um, a lot of people ask, you know, what's the difference between three and four? Um, some of the big differences were. Uh, we actually upgraded the uh, ECU, so pay attention right there. That's the ECU. It's really, it's nice and potted, so it's actually sealed. It's water resistant. The, you know, if you compare that to the old one, which is just an, an aluminum case and everything, I mean, there is a, a pretty big difference just in the size and the compactness of it, and especially the weather. You know, people in like in the Midwest, they always have issues with a lot of rain and all that kind of stuff. Here in California, we don't have to really worry about that, but. Uh, and you also, know, too, like any of the technology, it's also technology. Exactly. Like we went to a new ECU manufacturer, so it's it's, it's like almost like your cell phone. Yeah. Like the new version is yeah. faster than the old version. It's the more connectivity, compact. The connectivity of the Bluetooth is a lot better. Um, it's just you know the overall feel. You could you know our kits use the uh, the tablet. It's all it's all Bluetooth connectivity, so you don't have to run anything inside the cabin, which is a really good part. And you could either buy it with the with the tablet, or if you have an Android phone, you could actually use your phone to control your car. That's a good thing. So, um, as you can see, we have two different styles of intake manifolds. You want to explain that one over yeah, there? Yeah. So we have a traditional, what we call like a 4150 style. So that's for the guy that's got you know muscle car, street rod, and say he wants that traditional look of an 18 inch, oh, 18 is just really big. I'm sorry, 14, <laughs> 14 inch, inch. Uh, round air cleaner. But he just wants a traditional look under the hood when he pops that at a show. But we also have um, them available in with our Edelbrock Pro Flow XT intake manifold, and this is our ex exclusive to us. Um, this is our fuel injected intake manifold. It's got a front mount, uh, 90 millimeter throttle body. So it's more of a modern look, a modern take. So yep. we have both options available for you. And we also got uh, these options available for small and big block Chevy, small and big block Ford, uh, small and big block Chrysler. And we also added um, from ProFlow 3 to 4, we actually added LS Chevy. So now That's you can right. get yep. these both available for your Gen 3 or Gen 4 LS. Um, and also too, they're available with different ranges of fuel injectors for horsepower. So if yeah. you got you got 29 pound on the low end for a guy that's got a basic just cruiser, yep. and it's a, almost like a stock engine. And then we go all the way up to, I think a 42 pound injector on the LS side. For somebody that's maybe getting close, you know, close, maybe close hitting on 800 horsepower. Yep. I think we, see, we say 775 horsepower, so it's a higher horsepower range. Yep. So again, it's a match system. So we're trying to give you the right injector, the right setup for whatever you're going to do. But yeah, I mean, also too, oh, I don't forget Pontiac guys. We also have a few applications available for Pontiac in the traditional 4150 style. Yep. And you know, one thing that I, one question that I get often uh, on Facebook, at shows and stuff like that is what does the, clit, the, the actual kit include? And that's what a lot of people, you know, a lot of people are running a throttle body injection. You know, they see the price and they say, wow, that's really, that's a really good price for fuel injection. But what they don't realize is when you buy our kits, it actually includes the intake manifold and includes your distributor, wiring harness, computer, and the tablet. You know, it's, it's a full system. The good thing is with our system, you could actually control the, uh, the ignition. Since yeah. it comes with the with our custom distributor. Exactly. So, this is a specifically designed distributor for ProFlow 4, so it can't be using any other system, and it's a really unique to that. So that's again, like you said, that that's an yeah. added value. That yeah, absolutely. I mean, if you if you look at the price of a TBI system, and then you include a performance distributor, an intake yeah. manifold, all that stuff, you're looking at pretty much the price of a, a full sequential system. It adds up, yeah, because you see that you know nine hundred dollars, but then you start adding all those components for pretty quickly so. you're into like 1400 bucks. Oh yeah. These systems start at $1600. Yep. 
I mean, that's a huge improvement over our ProFlow 3 and previous generations of ProFlow EFI. They were around 22 up yeah. to 3,500 for some of those unique applications like Pontiac and Chrysler that aren't, you know, the, you know, run the mill per se. So yeah, I mean, it's a, for us 1,600 bucks starting. Yeah. It's huge. It's a big difference. It makes this kit right in there and really affordable. And that's the good part is um, the true benefits between this and a, a TBI system is. You know, on a TBI system, you pretty much have a, glor a glorified carburetor. I mean, yeah. you still have a wet intake manifold. You still have yep. a lot of those hesitation issues, uh, cold start issues, which a lot of people don't take into account. So, you yeah. know, you still have a, a lot of different problems with this. You're going from four injectors on TBI to eight injectors. So you have the injector right behind the valve where you really want that fuel to go in to the actual cylinder. You get the ultimate control, too. You, exactly. get, you get the best balance. Because what happens with a carburetor or a TBI style system is generally, your center runners are, are getting the most, and the outer runners can potentially run lean. They're not getting the most even mix of fuel. So with this, you're talking eight injectors, each one for each cylinder. You're, everything is getting dialed in right to the point of where it needs to be. Exactly. It's actually the most efficient, and you know that's where you get the most efficiency and power. You get the most out of your motor, and you're also potentially, you know, we can't claim, you know, guarantee it, but you could best better gas mileage yep. as well. I mean, there's a reason why, I always look at it this way, there's a reason why OEMs eliminated the TBI system, because it wasn't, it wasn't as efficient as a true full yep. sequential system. Absolutely. I mean, you can't find a single car out there that actually runs a TBI anymore. No. You know? not, from the, not from the factory. It hasn't exactly. had that since, like, I think, 1986. Was, 86. Well, actually, a little bit after that. 86 was the last carburetor. 95, so 95 around there? Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, like we said, uh, the price starts about $16.99. Um, for different applications, we said Ford, you know, Ford, Chevy, uh, and the Mopar guys, and some of the Pontiac guys. So, we're going to be uh, what we're going to do is we're going to release a information video uh, later on today, and it'll give you a full background on all the benefits. Do we also want to talk about fuel systems because we do offer a complete system. So it's got the harness. Like actually, let's go back to the picture. You can see it's got the harness, ECU, distributor, any kind of sensors you need, O2 sensor. But we do not offer a fuel system because we don't know what you're going to do with your specific ride. So what we do offer is several different fuel options. We have, we have options. a couple options. Yeah. Um, we do offer a kit where if you want to do a return style line back into your tank, we offer that as well. Um, one of the easiest ways to do it is with our, um, with our fuel sump. So what you do is you run whatever low pressure fuel system you have now, you run it into this, and this converts it, it's pretty much like a fuel booster, it converts it into high pressure for EFI. So the good part is, you don't have to do a return line, nothing. It, it plumps directly into that. It has the actual, you can see right here in the picture, it has a, a pump inside, so it already has the floats and everything. It's fully adjustable. It has a regulator built in, so you don't have to worry about any of that. So. And the best part, I think, too, is that it's all, you can install any engine bay with hand tools. There's yep. no need to, to get underneath the car, yep. install this, you know, in the back. You know, it just, you can do it right there in the engine bay. It's a couple of basic connections. I think the hardest part is finding a place to mount it. Yeah, pretty Really, much. for most guys, where you want to look at it, you know, and see it. Some, some but, people hide it in the radiator supports, stuff like that. Yeah. You can, I mean, you can put it against the firewall, wherever, wherever it fits. It's really nice and compact. Um, if you guys have any more questions about that, we could, we could do a, you know, a video on that as well. Yeah, so, absolutely. Anything else? No, I think that's it. I think we kind of just covered off. Just want you guys kind of give you some insight here onto what's new with Edelbrock. And then this is a really hot new product for us. It's been on the market probably for a couple of months, but yep. we're, you know, it's starting to kind of show up on a lot of the retailers out there. So yeah, check it out. And like I said, Eddie's got a video we're going to put out there that has way more detail than we talked yep. about here today. It goes into a lot of you know, how things work. Um, definitely check it out. I think Eddie's going to link it into the description. Yep. And on, check out our social media channels on Facebook and Instagram. It's going to be there and you know, if you got any questions, feel free to reach out to Just our com social. Comment below, and you know if there's a hot topic, we'll we'll do a Edelbrock live on it. Cool, awesome. Right. I think that's it for the day. So I think until next time, we're signing off. All right, take care.